and the tag is on your page and go ahead and accept it so it'll be live on your page. Okay. Hello everybody, this is Tiffany with the Speak Up and Inspire series. And tonight we have a friend and a fellow author with us tonight talking about her latest book and also her first book as well, Miss Tammy Thomas. Um, we took off a couple of weeks because I had some family um, things going on, some really great things going on. And so I took off for a couple of weeks with my family and now we are back. So again, tonight we are going to be talking to Miss Tammy Thomas. She is an author. She's also a poet and she's an advocate in her community. Um, I've also so um, been able to have the pleasure to be able to um, build a friendship with Miss Tammy. She's always been very supportive of the Speak Up and Inspire series as well as Butterfly Visions Project. But her and I have been able to talk friend to friend about a lot of different things that we are we've been able to collaborate on um, and just bond um, between yeah. the two of us. So um, I'm really, really excited to have her on the Speak Up and Inspire series. It's been way too long of getting her on here. And so I'm yeah. very, very, very excited, very excited. So Miss Tammy, how are you doing tonight? I'm fine. How are you? I am fine. doing spectacular. Thank you for asking. I'm just, I'm just, you're welcome. I'm just so excited to be here. It, yes, it has been a long time. <laughs> yeah. It has. It has no, been um, Facebook friends probably going on two or three years now. Right. And, uh, you know, I've been watching you with your um, your success as an author and, you know, being in Blacktopia and Jonathan right. connecting us. And so we finally got you here. Um, yes. Thank Space. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So um, we're going to get right to it, if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> 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 we have a lot of things to talk about. So, um, all right. So you have two books out right now. Is that correct? Yes. yes. All right. Nice. Nice. Um, what started you um, in writing? When I was about, I'll say about 14. I was in middle school, going to high school. And um, around that time, you know, emotional stuff and, um you know, changing the different friends and sometimes you get depressed. And so I started writing, you know, writing down my feelings. At that time, I didn't know it was like really poetry. Right. I thought it was just something I'm just writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, later on, you know, I quit that. And then I didn't start back up until 2011 when I found Facebook. So I started up writing again. And um, you know, the little, the section, the writing page or something, I forgot what they call it on Facebook. Um, but anyway, I used to- The notes the, section? The, yes, the notes section. Mm -hmm. I used to write poems in there and share it. And a lot of people liked it. And um, one lady, um, I don't think you remember, um, Elle McClendon. She asked me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Said, yes. I'm she the one that, um, she the one that got me to my publisher. Cause she asked me, do, oh. do I have a book or a thing about writing a book? Uh -huh. And I was like, writing a book, me? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and she kept pushing me and pushing me. She was like, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, I'll try. She said, like, well, I'm gonna introduce you to a lady named Roger Williams. She was another FB uh, friend of ours. And uh, we connected together. And that was in uh, 2016 when uh, we got introduced, yes. Very nice, very nice. Yes, I do know Miss L. We gotta get her on here too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, yes. So <laughs> you started off writing when you were um, a teenager and right. I believe that was around the time I started writing myself. So I can definitely okay. relate to that. Um, mm -hmm. Being a teenager is hard, especially it nowadays. Is. Yes. Um, so I definitely understand that. I know my daughter, she started writing when she was about 11 or 12, you know, yeah, okay. about 11. So that seems to be a pretty common age for people when they, when you ask the question, when did you start writing? Right. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. So tell us, where are you from? I'm from Newport News, Virginia. Nice. Um, so that means you're not that far from Virginia Beach, right? 
No, about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the traffic. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell us about your first book. What is the name of your first book and what inspired you to write your first book? Well, my first book is called Emotional Soul of a Poet. Yes. What inspired me is, um, you know, life, um, going through life, this situation, other people's situations, um, it inspired me to start writing. Very nice. Can you tell us what, and I guess maybe you're, you have, it's poet, I mean, poetry, correct? In your first yes. book? Right. Okay. Yes. So in your first book, what is one of your favorite poems? And do you mind reading one to us? I sure yes. <laughs> <laughs> my first one in this first book is um, "My Fat Is It for Everyone." Ooh, oh yeah, <laughs> I like this. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, my fat is it for everyone? Yeah, I said it. I didn't stutter. My rows are cute. My breasts are voluptuous. I am a beautiful mountain that fills up your eyes. I see what you want to touch, my thick thighs. <laughs> no, nope. my fat isn't for everyone. Either you love it or you don't. It doesn't matter. I love my fat and all. Let's carry on. <laughs> That's <Ooh>. it. <laughs> Girl, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember, okay, so a couple of days ago, I'm just going to throw a plug in here. A couple of days ago, we were talking about um, my new lingerie line that I started, Love yeah. and Lust Lingerie. And nice. you asked me, you said, do you have plus size lingerie? Mm -hmm. And I said, girl, I'm plus size. Yes, I have. We have plus size <laughs> lingerie. <laughs> So, yes, I love it. We need to um, put that on our uh, our site so the other ladies can see that. I love oh, it. I love nice. it. Um, is there any other ones that you would like to share with us from your first book? Yes, I sure can. I got one called um, Ain't Heaven. Okay. I am in pen heaven. I committed suicide in the ink well. Poetry breathed life back into my soul. My words are my witnesses, written into existence. My pen leaves smoke trails of ink as I write through the lines of this paper, the air filled with smoke, smelling only of my ink's vapor. Thank you. Mm. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, I like the way your words flow, young lady. I like it, I like it. <laughs> So with your first book, did you self-publish or did you um, go through a, a publisher? I went through a publisher. It's called Creative Talents Unleashed. And um, okay. like I said, it's one of um, the ladies on this, one of our Facebook friends, her name is Raja Williams. Okay. Yeah. She, she's excellent. She's excellent. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, I know for me, I self-published and that was such mm -hmm. a lengthy process that I wish I would have um, gone with a publisher. Um, mm -hmm. I did look through for a few, but I just did not trust my first book to a publisher. I right. wanted, <laughs> I would, I needed to have control okay. of that. <laughs> right. Right. You got to do research. Yeah, yeah I know. Research. I know. It was just so many publishers out there and I just couldn't make a decision. So yeah. kudos to you for, for taking that extra step and getting a publisher Thank to you. publish your book. How has it been for you as an author? Was it what you expected it to be? Or tell us about your experiences as an author. No, not really. It's, it's, um, it's a hard process, like you said. Um, you got to read, read. You got to research your, whatever you're writing about, thinking about it. You got to proofread again. I mean, it, it's a long, it's, don't, you got you can't rush it. Cause my first book I was rushing, but then I was like, I had to slow down because I didn't want to make too many mistakes, you know? Right. Right. I, I understand that. Yeah. My book went through several edits itself and then mm -hmm. I published it right. and did edits and revisions again. Um, mm -hmm. So I definitely understand that. I definitely understand yeah. that. You want your birth, your book to be perfect. Right. And so you have <laughs> to take your time, especially your first book. Yes. 
Definitely, definitely. Um, have you done any events? Um, what else have you done with your book? What is your your book? Um, what kind of opportunities has your your books brought for you? I've been with um, you know Jonathan. She he has done a uh, virtual um, book uh, what was it? book opening for me. Okay. Where I did most of my poems when it came the, my first book came out, and I did also some um, other um, virtual. Um, poetry uh, sessions also with um, Jonathan. And and um, also Big Room Radio. Mm -hmm. yes. Shout out to Nima. <laughs> yeah, and Mr. JT Thompson too. Yes, over yes. There. <laughs> yes. I also was on his show too and, and did um, a, a video also. Nice. Okay, yeah. so you've had some exposure, you know, virtually with, with different audiences. That's really, yes. really nice. That's really nice. So how long was it between your first book and your second book did you um, publish? Um, about a year. About a year. Okay, so that's not that's not too long. Right. Nice. Well, you go, girl. You just moving along, moving along. Yeah. So tell us about your second book. My second book is Life Through Poetry Vibes, and I published that in, last year, 2019. Okay, and can tell us about that book. What led you to write That's this book? Inspiration from others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to do something different, do a little, um, little love and little um, strong points. You know, I'm trying to do like I'm uh, trying to um, be others' voices, right? And also be mine. For those that doesn't, you know, don't want to speak on stuff. So I decided to do it, you know, for them. Right, right. Yeah. Um, do you find that there, is there anything in the community that you're passionate about? Just helping others. Helping others, um, donating clothes, trying to help out with uh, events, uh, giving out clothes, food, being for uh, food, food um, mm -hmm. to the homeless. I've also done that one a couple of times with my church. Nice. And I know that you've also um, donated a couple of times to Butterfly Visions Project when we yeah. had um, domestic violence victims who were needing emergency shelter or food. You've, you've pitched in there with us too. So I definitely yeah. appreciate you um, mm -hmm. donating. I appreciate to you letting me. As well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> or we're never gonna we're help. never gonna pass pass up donations to help people. <laughs> I try to help nice. what I can. Yeah, yeah. And I appreciate that. You're such a kind person. Whenever I send you text messages or um, I post different things, you're always, always positive. So I definitely appreciate that as a friend and, you know, as a, a supporter and a fellow advocate in the community. I definitely appreciate that. Thank you. I try to do what I can to help others and support because, mm -hmm. you know, someday you never know when you need it. That's true. That's very true. Very, very true. Tell us more about your second book. Um, is how is it different from the first book, or is it different? Um, with this second one, I say I took my time, and um, it's a lot more. I say a lot more positive, a lot more love, um, more strength in this one. Mm -hmm. I know that I've read excerpts from your first book, but I have not read your second book. So that's something that I need to do. Life just gets so busy. It's, it's hard for me to read nowadays, but I always prefer a paperback or a physical copy of a book. I do not yes. like to read books virtually. <laughs> I <do too. laughs> yeah, I think I'm old school in that sense that right. I just, I'd rather have a book in my hand for me to, right. for me to read. Um, so I definitely need to get your book. Where are your books found? It is found. I got to pull up the link. <laughs> okay. And while you're looking for that, do you have any other projects coming up for books that you're writing or any collaborations with any other authors? Yes, I just finished with, um, it's out now with Candace Johnson. She okay. has the Soul Magazine issue eight. And I have done, um, I have did a story and also I think two poems in there. 
That's okay. in the magazine. And it's out now. Okay, nice. And what was the name of the magazine? I'm sorry. It's um Soul Magazine. It is okay. issue eight. And you okay. find that on lily.com. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, nice. That's nice. Um, I know <laughs> she sent me a link, so let me see if yes. I can pull it up. Give me one second. I have a million things pulled up on my laptop, but I should okay. be able to find it pretty quickly. You can find my book on uh, genius.com, bookstore okay. number two. Got it, got it. Okay, let's see if I can pull it up and I'll share my okay. screen Okay. so that everybody can see it. What is something that you have learned as an author that you didn't know beforehand, before publishing your book? What, it, what, have, what have you learned about yourself? What I learned is when I finished reading, or me writing my book, I mean, writing my poetry and just reading it. And you think like, wow, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> right, right. You, um, you get surprised every time you write. And Very it's like, true. wow. And, and, and it's, to me, I feel proud of myself. And you should be. Mm-hmm. You should be, definitely. Okay, I am on the page. So um, I see you right there. So let me share my screen so that everybody can see it. All right, can you see that there? Yes, I see it. That's me. Okay, there you are. <laughs> there you are. So we have right here, the emotional soul of a poetess. And I see that under your picture, it says beautiful disaster. Tell us about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know more. Why beautiful disaster? It's one of those poems I just, um, I don't know where I came up with that, but it's like, um, you could be beautiful on the outside but you could be a disaster to anybody else. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that's true. <laughs> Productive. <laughs> Central. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm looking at this and it says beautiful disaster. She is hot as the summer nights. She commands attention when she enters the room. Her essence astounds them. Her aroma entices. Her hips sway of flowetry as she dances like poetry. Who is this woman of mystery? <laughs> Away with words. <laughs> that made me want to be a beautiful disaster. <laughs> Oh goodness! Well, this that's, is a, a that's beautiful lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're next, your next cover, we're gonna have you in some love and lust lingerie. That's what we're gonna do for your next couple. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we have a request. We have several people that are commenting on your interview right now. So it looks like we have a request for masquerade. Oh, who is that from, Jonathan? Yes. <laughs> so, how do I know that? <laughs> so he didn't, he didn't put he didn't put you out there. So let's let's hear what is let's hear masquerade. Okay. <laughs> Let me find this. I'm trying to find it. The, okay, here it is. Okay. This one's called Masquerade. Out my first book, Emotional Soul of a Poetess. I intrigue him, yet he does not know me. My eyes captivate him. They are flirting with him, hypnotized by my power of seduction. He does not want to go away. He wants to know who I am, but I like to play. Curiosity is killing him softly as we dance the night away. Our swag sets the room on fire, loving the game of cat and mouse. His senses aroused, pleasure in his intuition. Then the clock strikes 12, like the wind, I'm gone. 
leaving him breathless and wanting more. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. I like it. You have a lot of empowerment in your poetry. You have some passion, some sexiness. You have a lot going on in these books. I'm going to have to get Thank these. You. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank so you. tell us a little bit more about Miss Tammy. Is Miss Tammy married? Are you single? No, I am single. I have okay. two um, two lovely girls and also have three grandkids. Ooh, okay. What do your grandkids call you? Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I have some grandkids, I do not want to be called Grandma. You can call me anything or Grandma. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I, I, I said, I don't want to be Grandma. I want something that my, my kids are like, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, my the twins call my mom Mimi, and um, my husband's mom uh, um, Nana. So, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> How old are your grandkids? They are eight, nine, and two. Eight, nine, and two. Good ages. Good ages. Yeah. Very, very nice. So, if you had any um, advice for any new authors what kind of advice would you give them don't rush do your research and um just go with the flow go with always the flow. always do your research right 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 and what exactly do they need to research now i i can answer research. that personally but i'm coming from you what should they research research um other publishing companies, um, you know, do do talk to other people about how they started with their um with their books and how they got published and, and are they self publishing? How do you go about doing that? You know, talking to others, networking. Right, right. Um, I know that you are an admin in um, Blacktopia. Tell us about your role yes. there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that grew up in the admin for I don't know how many years now mm -hmm. and you get to meet different people and interact with others and do a business with others or supporting black people you know black people as ourselves so it's a it's a great experience right right yes Jonathan is amazing he's done a lot of promo um, for me as well, including my book, um, Reality okay. Check as well. Yes. So, he um, yeah, he's really good. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's very supportive. Um, he, he, you can see the support in everything that he does yes. for, for all of his clients and, you know, so yeah, right. Jonathan, he, Jonathan is amazing. My oldest daughter is also his client also. Okay. She, what is your daughter doing? She's um a, she has a, a book coming out soon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you've seen um a bee. Let me get this right. A bee trapped in his own honey. Oh yes, that's your daughter. Uh, yes, and that's oh, my wow. Youngest, <laughs> yeah, that's my youngest, and that's my youngest daughter on the cover. She used okay. to on the cover. Okay, I didn't know that that was your daughter. Yes. <laughs> And her book should be coming wow. out. Oh, wow. wow. So you, yeah, you have. So that means you have a legacy going on there in your family yes. of, of yeah. writers. Yes. Great. <laughs> well, will she mind you telling us what the book is about? Just a little teaser. Yes, yeah, she will tell you. She can tell you. Okay. All right. Is she there? Um, let me look over there and see if she's up there. Because <laughs> she's yeah, at home. Tell her to drop us a line and let us get give us a little teaser about her book. Okay. <laughs> so what is next for you, Miss Tammy? What's next for you? Um, I'm thinking about doing another book. This time more um inspirational. But I'm okay. still trying to I'm trying I'm still trying to grasp on what to write it, you know, exactly. Sometimes I flip flop so I I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, 
I'm going to tell you, your fans, including myself, will not be disappointed if you put some more sexy poetry out there. <laughs> <laughs> we will not be disappointed, Miss Tammy. Uh, I'm not, not, not going to disappoint y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know you won't. I know you won't. Um, <laughs> is there anything that you haven't done yet that you are looking forward to doing? Like what, what kind of oh, life goals do you have that you haven't accomplished yet that you're looking forward to? That's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was somebody that asked me, have I done you know, writing, um, writing a, just a, a writing a book, not poetry, but other things. Mm -hmm. I did a little story in the magazine I was telling you about, and that was mm -hmm. kind of fun. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might yeah. do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, I see, well, I, I love your book. I read it, you know, a lot of times. So it's like, wow. <laughs> now, how can, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> right. But when I when I did a story, I was like, okay, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe down. Maybe in a few years, I might do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah. You've already got your feet wet. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know it takes. A, I know it takes a lot of time. Yeah, I might consider doing that. We'll see. <laughs> okay, all right. So, yeah. Masquerade was that from your first book or second book? My first book. Your first book. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to read us a couple of things from your second book? Oh yes. <laughs> my I second like book. I'm, I feel like I'm getting all kinds of treats tonight with you on here. <laughs> Now, this is my second book, Life Through Poetry's Eyes. Life Through Poetry's Eyes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, this one's called Healing in My Soul. There's a burning desire in my soul, my bleeding heart willing to open up again and let go. I was drowning in life's sorrows, but you came along and gave me hope of a better tomorrow. I never thought love would come again, but here you are holding my heart as it mends. You took the time to put the pieces together that were broken and healing my soul was your main focus. You have rearranged my life like a tornado. I was swept away. Cascade by your love, mm, amazing. The flow of your love runs deep as the rhythm of our heart steady beats. Your love is a reassurance. There's no one other woman to compete. You showed me a whole new world and I finally see what was missing from my puzzle. It was you that makes it complete. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that was so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want to hear more. I want to hear more. Okay, let's, let's okay. read something else for us. <laughs> this one's called, just had it. <laughs> this one's called Envy. How bitter can you be to try and destroy me? What have I done for you to envious of me? Is it because I'm winning the race and left you without a trace? Do you have no remorse to fame in my name, putting me through the mud? What a shame. There's nothing funny about discrediting someone's name. Do you think this is a game? Do you get pleasure out of someone's pain? Misery is what you claim. Being jealous is a sin. You already know that you can't win. Watch your tongue before it gets burned because karma, baby, is coming back in return. Thank you. I know that's right. Karma <laughs> gonna get you talking all that mess. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so everything that you've read me sounds um, personal. Is, is this personal experiences that has um, inspired you to write, or is it just the feeling at the time when you were writing, or both? Both. both. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, how, how would you 
describe yourself? Do you feel like um, your poetry, is it therapy for you? Is it a way for you to just express your feelings? Tell us, what is poetry to you? Poetry to me is like therapy, getting um, things out. And sometimes um, I get it through my sleep. I'll wake up and start writing. And if um, I, I don't go back to sleep until it's complete. <laughs> and, mother, and sometimes I write when I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I write when I'm sad or in love. <laughs> Um, or just having fun. And writing should be fun. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know for a lot of people, including myself, um, mm -hmm. writing my book, Reality Check, was mm -hmm. a way of closure for me from being in a, um, an abusive relationship, kind of. Um, right. It was therapy for me to get those things on words and to put it out there in the universe. Mm -hmm. um, right. So I definitely understand the therapeutic aspect of it. Um, how have you seen that your poetry has affected others? What are some testimonials that you can share with us from other people who have read your, your books? Um, they say it was very inspirational for them, that I speak for them, and that... Um, I shouldn't stop writing because they love my poetry and it gives them hope. And that gives me hope and it um, makes me happy to make others happy as well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, it's always great when you get that kind of feedback from people who have read yeah. your work. It makes it worth it. It makes that, that, that stressful, grueling process of putting out a, out a book right, right. worth it. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Um, so I know that your books are, you can get, um, mm, totally lost my thought. You can get a hard or paperback or a hardback of your, of your book. Can people also read your, your books online? Is that an option? Not yet. Okay. I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm going to. Very nice. And have you thought about doing Audible at, at all? Actually putting your voice to your book for people to hear you read? No, someone mentioned that to me, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think, yeah, you can hear the passion in your voice when you are reading um, your poetry. I mean, just being on here with me, I can feel it in your, you know, in the way that you read it. So you might want to think about that. People might want to, might want to hear you actually saying those words and being a dangerous disaster on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, have put out, I have put out some portrait videos on YouTube. Um, okay. You can check them out uh, under Tammy Thomas. My daughter was shaking a bag. I had to tell her to. <laughs> and so I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. So you said on YouTube, how can we find yes. you on YouTube? Uh, Tammy Thomas. Okay, so we can just YouTube and look at Tammy Thomas and we'll be able yeah. to find you. Yes. Okay, nice. Um, so tell us what can we look forward to hearing on YouTube? What are some of some of the things that you've published on YouTube? Or what are some of the poetry, should I say, that you've published um, on YouTube? Some of the poetry that I read to you is up there. Okay. Um, different types of poetry. And also had done um, a poetry session with um, Adrian Charleston, Nina okay. Star L and Candace Johnson is okay. up there as well. Very nice, very nice. Um, let me see, I'm actually going on YouTube right now so I can find you and, and there you are. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so who have you had um, the pleasure of working with otherwise and who you've mentioned are already or maybe that might be the answer to my question. Who mm -hmm. has been um, one of the best collaborations for you in helping you with your career as a, as a writer? I did a poetry with um, Adrian Charleston. And um, we, we also did a uh, poetry show together with um, that Jonathan had put on for us. Adrian Charleston, I um, like working with her the most. Um, I like working with Nima's um, Shining Star L. And, okay. uh, uh -huh. 
I mean, there's a lot of, lot of talented women. Yes, yes. I see Nima is on here right now. Yes. She's shouting out praises for you. She said, Thank Tammy you, is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so Queen Nima is definitely has got your got your back. Has definitely got your back. Um, we have someone else here, Miss Tonda. She said that you were inspiring her to write, um, and she started in 2011, and you inspired her to do that. Um, because <laughs> what do we have here? Beautiful, I guess, Miss uh, Miss Tonda. This is Miss Tonda again. So we have your fans are on here right now. They are singing praises of Miss Tammy. Thank and you. We, of course, we have Jonathan on here who's putting in all his kudos for you. <laughs> Thank you. He's snapping, snapping <laughs> fingers and everything on here. <laughs> all right, so we have a request um, for something. We, they, people want to hear some more sexy stuff. So what else you want to share with us? Uh, OK, let me, <laughs> let me look through here. Y'all do that? No. <laughs> Because that, that one that you read, we're going to have to get a caption of that for the Love and Lust Lingerie uh, okay. Facebook page. We're going to have to get that on there. So we're going to talk about that when we get off of this interview. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This one's on my second book also. Okay. This one's called My Lipstick. Glides on seductively slow. Kissing my lips. Let the wetness flow on my lips. Rubbing my lips to make the color fit. You want to taste my lips? Anticipating on what flavor is on my lips. Ooh. Let's explore these lips. Ooh, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I think I think you got a little little something something going on, you Miss Lady, that, we, that I didn't know about. <laughs> We might have to make you a, a, a passion coach too. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Very nice. Thank so you. you told us that you were um, single. Are you single and looking or single and happy? Or, you know, what's your status? You you do you like, are you dating? Let the single. fellas out there watching. Let's tell us about that. <laughs> single and dating. Okay. Dating, um, yes. <laughs> do you enjoy dating? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know when when I was single, um, I enjoyed dating. I enjoyed getting to getting to know different people. Um, but, but I also was a no nonsense dater before I right. met my current right. husband because I was like, look, I'm getting too old to be doing this. I'm ready to get mm -hmm. married. So. If you don't want no future, you wasting my time. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just dating one person right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Well, without giving out his name, what do you like about him? Everything. Oh. <laughs> Has he inspired any of your poetry yet, Miss Tammy? Oh, he's yes. <laughs> 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 very very nice very very nice I like it I love it I love it Thank you. so your kids um your daughters you said you had two daughters right yes have they read your books yes they have they love they it have. Yeah. okay all right did they say yeah. mama I noticed you had all this going on <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're grown grown ladies, so yes, we are. Know, that's that's right. how they got here. Mama being exactly. back here. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. What else would you like to share with us, Miss Tammy, that I haven't asked already? I think I shared everything. <laughs> nice. Okay. So yeah. we, we know that you are most likely going to be working on another book and you said that it's going to be more inspiration. Why do you feel that we need that, especially right now in these times? Why do you feel inspiration is needed? Oh, you just said right now we need it more than ever. I mean, everybody's losing their family, um, family or loved ones. Um, the economy is crazy. Kids, uh, I mean everything, and it's, it's it's um trying to to make people happy, trying to keep their mindset 
on a, a, a level, not to be depressing. And I just want to make, I just want to bring joy to um, everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. I believe that you're always positive. You're always rooting people on. You're always supporting other people. So I definitely mm -hmm. believe you put something out inspirational. It's going to definitely be definitely Thank you. inspirational. Thank you. Yes. Um, what do you do um, otherwise than writing? Um, do you do you work? Are you retired? What What else do you do otherwise than your writing and your poetry? No, I'm not working right now. Okay. No. Okay. Just what are your hobbies? Writing, um, listening to music, uh, just um, enjoying life with my family. You know, like we like to go bowling, playing. We love playing Uno cars. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can you play spades? I uh, used to. I don't remember now. <laughs> Come on, now. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been so long. Uh, yeah. And I forgot. I, I love me a good spades player. player. <laughs> oh, yes. the spades game yes yes i do and i'm i'm the i'm you know how spades spades um games can get really intense and everybody's yeah. yelling and shouting and cussing at each yeah. other i'm the total opposite i kind of sit back and i'm quiet and oh, really? i just do my and i just do my you you don't have you have no idea what's going on in my mind when i play spades <laughs> so people don't know what to expect from me they don't they don't know if i'm what i'm doing until okay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so that poker face. What are some, yeah, po exactly. Poker face. You have no idea what's coming, what's about right. to come. What's about to come. <laughs> um, so you told me that you like to write. What are some other things that you enjoy doing? Um, I like doing bowling and uh, listen to music. I like to sit by myself and just think. <laughs> That, that's a good thing. That's a good mm -hmm. thing. Who's some of your favorite artists right now? Or do you have any? Oh, Mary J. Blige, mm -hmm. Jill Scott, mm -hmm. um, NDRE, Tiana Taylor, Trey nice. Songs, Chris Brown. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got you. Got a little old school, new school in there. Yeah. I got mm -hmm. you. I got you. Um, have you ever thought about writing a play or anything? I know somebody hit me up the other day asking, saying that he was looking for um, female African American writers to um, to write plays. Have you ever thought about doing that? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That I like that answer. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Right. That would be <laughs> yeah. I yeah. know you'd be great at it. Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never, I've never done it. And when he, mm -hmm. he brought, right. brought it to my attention, I was like, I never thought about it, but I don't know. I might try my hand. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking about it. I don't, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay don't think too long. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, okay. So we have poetry. We know what your hobbies are. We know that you're thinking about, um, uh, writing a third book, an inspirational book. Um, you shared us some advice, you know, for other authors to make sure that they do their research and mm -hmm. go for it. Um, for you, what has been the hardest part of your journey, otherwise than the process of publishing? What's What's been the hardest part of your journey as a writer? Um, putting words together. And, and, the, and um, writer's block. <laughs> mm. when I want to write I can't write mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. when I don't want to write I write <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably where that let it flow comes from <laughs> right that you suggested earlier <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah you yeah. can't you can't you can't rush it you just I'll be sitting there at the table sometimes thinking and trying to write and trying to write it's mm -hmm. not going to work you can't push yourself to doing it. You just got, like I said, let it flow. I agree. I agree. And, and your best work comes from just letting that, your mind just flow with those words right. instead of forcing, forcing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Um, so I want to go back to make sure that everybody knows how to find you. So say someone okay. wants to buy your book. What, what would you say is the best way for them to get your books? The best way to get is through uh, it's www. 
geniusiscommon.com uh, forward slash page, bookstore page two. Okay. Number two. Okay. Yes, because I see it took me a minute to find right. your book on here. I had to scroll down a little bit. So that's very important. Page two, everyone, is how you find her book. So give us a link again for those who are trying to write this down, like me. Give it to us one more time. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, let, me, let me pull it up for you. So Actually, you know what? I'm going to go into your, okay. your message to me, and I'm just, I'm going to copy it. How about that? Okay. And I'm going to put it in the thread for our live so that people can find it. Okay. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this book right here that we showed earlier was The Soul of a Poetess. And then your second book, and please um, excuse me if, if I ask you the same question over and over again, but my, my memory is horrible. So <laughs> Soul of a Poetess was your first book, and your second book is called Through... Life through poetry's eyes. Life through poetry's eyes. Okay, got it, got it. I'll try not to forget that. Okay, so is there a big difference between the two books or do you just feel it's just a, a 360 with the style of your writing between book one and book two? I say the style of writing is a, li a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how different? It's more... Um, more passionate in there. Good, good, good. So, Miss Tammy, <laughs> right now with us right here, for you, we, we, want, we want you to give us those inspirational words that we need, we need right now. Because um, I know that you, you'd like to, you love to help people, um, your writings and your poetry, um, helps people to, to connect with their own emotions and so forth. Um, have you found that being a writer has inspired you more? And you know, hearing the testimony testimonials, has that inspired you more to continue writing, to continue doing poetry shows, to continue, you know, on this journey that you're on? What is what is your main motivator for continuing on this journey as an author? Never give up. That's it. Never give up. Even if things, if, even if things get hard and you want to quit, don't. Yeah. Just keep pushing. Did you ever think at 14 years old when you started writing that you would publish two books? No. <laughs> <laughs> never thought that would happen, huh? No, never. <laughs> nice. Well, your journey doesn't stop here. I have a feeling that you're going to be coming out with another book next year and the next year mm -hmm. and you're going to continue doing it and it's going to grow into even a more amazing sequels of books <laughs> from this uh from this uh tammy Def definitely yes. who would you like to work with in the future do you have any people um that you would like to collaborate with on writings or, or anything in the future who's who's on your radar who's on my radar um of course Mima again mm -hmm. i would like to write with her Ken is uh, born to write. Um, Adrian, did I say Adrian? Yes, Adrian. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm a lot. There's a lot of them <laughs> nice. that nice. I see. Yes. Well, you make sure that you tag them so that they can see your live tonight because you've mentioned several people um, who you've worked with, with or would like to work with or that you support as writers. So really, it's, it would be really nice for you to tag them and let them know that you um, that you mentioned them. Um, I know Miss Nima is on here. I know that Jonathan's on here. Um, you've mentioned a couple of other people. So definitely um, tag them in your live so that they can see your interview tonight um, and just see you glow to like you have all <laughs> and sharing some of your poetry. Um, we have a couple of more minutes. Can you read us something else? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I sure can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Take oh, your time. Okay. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> This one's called Confinement. 
I am in confinement. My thoughts have been restricted to speak. My pen censored to spill ink. My voice becomes obsolete. Why are they afraid? Holding my pen and paper hostage, ban me for freedom of speech. I will not be silent. You won't block me. Keep me in a cage like a bird. I'm about to break free. Salute so to the ink I am spilling. My WordPress on this paper drilling. Remember this, my mind is a weapon and I'm not afraid to use it. I know that's right, Miss Tammy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was powerful, girlfriend. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So you've given us a little romance. You've given us some passion, some sexiness, some empowerment, some <laughs> inspirational, a little bit of everything going on in them in, in those two books. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So it's not all daunting. Have you ever read a poetry book and like everything was just black? <laughs> Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or every or the whole book is erotica, which is not a bad thing. No, it's not. But you have a nice variety of poetry in both of your books. So I cannot wait to get your second book so that I can read it. I'm looking forward Thank to you. it. And please keep me updated, which I know that you will, but keep me updated when you write your, your next book so we can have you okay. back on to share with us. I would really love that. Thank you, I sure will. <laughs> Thank you so much. So before we leave, if people wanna talk to you personally and maybe have you on their show, maybe write with you, collaborate with you, how can they reach you personally? Um, they can either message me on um, Facebook or email me at uh, uh, TammyT757 at gmail.com. Say it one more time, your email address. Tammy, that's spelled T-A-M-M-Y-T-757 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Very nice. You represent Virginia. I hear you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and one more time, share your link with us, even though I put it in a thread, but people might not look at it. So share your link with us one more time before we end. Um, for the it's www.geniusiscommon.com before slash, and it's uh, bookstore page number two. It's page two. Yes, and, and just for everyone who is watching, I did drop the link in the comments. Mm -hmm. Um, so that you can go directly to it. Make sure that you go to page two. Um, you can scroll down like I did and you will find it. It's a beautiful cover like we showed you earlier. Um, I'm gonna show it one more time just so people will know what it looks like. Um, is your second book on here too? How can we get yeah. your second book? It's up there too. Oh, it's on there too, okay. Yes. So this it's is the, the, the emotional. Okay, so is it above or below this one? I think it's, I think it's um, below after below. this one. Okay. okay, so this is Emotional soul, soul of a Poetess. Again, the beautiful disaster. I love it. I love it. You. <laughs> you can also find her other book on um, Genius is Common right. uh, website, page two. Make sure you go to page two to find both of her books. And if you want to get in contact with her, you can send her a private DM or you can email her. So thank you so much, Miss Tammy, for um, joining us this evening. Um, I really and truly appreciate you taking time um, to be on tonight. Um, I enjoyed every bit of it. And I always love to hear poetry um, read by the author because you get something different out of it versus if I would have read it. Coming from you, it just, it, it was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing that for us. I think you're on mute. You have to unmute yourself. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes, I couldn't hear. I was like, wait, she's talking, but I don't hear. <laughs> yes. So, Thank, Thank you so much. You. I appreciate that you invited me. Thank you so much.
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I know that there you have a fan base, girlfriend. When I tell you that this thread has been popping the whole hour, so you Thank know you, that everyone. you have a lot of fans out there, um, and that that says a lot. That says that speaks volumes. Yeah. Thank you. you. Yes, you're very welcome. So thank you, Miss Tammy, for taking your time with us on the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, you can find her books online. You can also send her a direct message to speak to her personally. She also gave us her email. Miss Tammy, when you get a chance, please put your email in the comments as well so people okay. will know how to get in contact with you. Um, and um, we're, I'm going to send you some love and less lingerie because I'm telling you, you you okay. don't need lingerie on one, on one of them book covers. <laughs> <laughs> With all your roles, girl, and all oh, all yes. them thighs. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. I hope that you had a great Monday and that you have an awesome week. If you would like to be a guest on the Speak Up and Inspire series, please reach out to us. Our Facebook page is Speak Up and Inspire series, or you can send me a private message. Um, we interview people who are inspiring others in all different ways. Yes. Tammy, she is inspiring us through her words and her poetry. And if you're inspiring others, please reach out to us. We would love to have you as a guest as well. Everyone have a good night. And thank you, Miss Tammy. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.